All right. Uh, now we're gonna go find. Uh, I think we're gonna find him. Hopefully, this didn't take me too far back. Basically, what happened was I picked something and. And it wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, see? A lot of them are dead. Anyway, I'm going to go to the tunnel. See, uh... Please, have you done everything you can for the sorrows? Are they all accounted for? Uh. Hurry, there isn't any time to waste. We have to get out of here and collapse the tunnel behind us. Okay, I just did the wrong choice. All right, uh. going now all right uh, I need a map because this is yeah, I'm right here All right, come on now. <sighs> this is the tunnel, right? You didn't see, then it comes back here. My map says my quest says speak to Daniel retake the bridge I did I just spoke to him please is it time is everyone safe we have to go you let them die it doesn't Never make mind. sense. Alright, this makes no sense. Use the detonator to collapse the Pine Creek Tunnel. Alright, now I'm locked. Um... So it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Leg huh. was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. After the White Legs drove the sorrows from Zion, they celebrated by destroying all traces of the valley's former inhabitants. They appealed to the Legion for assimilation, but were denied. Their failure to eradicate the new Canaanites in Grand Staircase and farther up the Colorado had not gone unnoticed. The White Legs made a half-hearted effort to find the new Canaanites, but were driven off by dead horses trained in the ways of Joshua Graham. The White Legs lost all hope of joining the Legion and disintegrated into a number of petty raiding bands, leaving Zion Valley a polluted sister. Daniel evacuated the sorrows from Zion, 
But due to the courier's neglect, the White Legs butchered many along the way. Those who survived barely reached Grand Staircase, but once there, the dead horses and new Canaanites helped them settle. The unfamiliarity of their new surroundings and the loss of loved ones evoked a terrible and lasting grief among the sorrows. For two generations, many would die still lamenting the loss of Zion. Having helped Daniel and the sorrows escape from Zion, the dead horses returned to their home at Dead Horse Point. The tribe continued to learn from the new Canaanites, and over many years built a flourishing community along the banks of the Colorado. Though the tribe's bond would endure, it was Joshua Graham's legend the dead horses would revere, not the tenets of new Canaan's faith. Already weakened by several seasons of bad trading, the Happy Trails Caravan Company was initially discouraged by the results of its expedition, the fate of New Canaan, and the evacuation of the Saros from Zion, made the prospect of trading seem fruitless. When Daniel told his family about the exploits of Happy Trails employee The Courier, however, New Canaan decided to repay the company's kindness twice per year. New Canaanites made the dangerous journey west to trade with a company in the city of New Reno. The Happy Trails Caravan Company could not survive on such trading alone. But the New Canaanites' generosity made tough times go easier. After leading the Sorrows from their home in Zion to safety in Grand Staircase, Daniel continued to wonder if he'd made the right choice. He spent his life evangelizing the beliefs of his people to a new generation of young men and women, as his ancestors had for centuries before him. He was happy with his family. But for the rest of his life, there were nights when he awoke with sadness to find he had been dreaming of Zion. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. All right, anyway, uh, that ends, um, what does it end? <laughs> I had a brain fart. Uh, oh, jeez, can't believe that. Anyway, it ends this DLC. Uh, I've got a level up. My guns are 100. My lockpick is now 75. My repair is now 72, and I should get a, um, oops, jeez, I can't believe I forgot that, uh, let's see here, explore every location, and, okay, I don't want that, this world is confusing enough as it is. Ah, Honest Hearts. I just looked at the case to get the name. I mean, it was just all of a sudden, your attacks do much less damage to companions. Now, I've never had a problem except when I was fighting them Cazadors and I kind of, uh, um, blew them up with the grenades. So I think what I'm going to do is I got 10 of these so I'm going to do one more of those uh, and I'm going to raise strength and the reason being I don't think I put anything in here uh, li a light and shining darkness ooh that's a 45 chalks headdress yeah I'll take it Daniel's hat Daniel's outfit uh, yeah, they're all big time sellable. So, anyway, this ends, um, well, does it end it? Or do I still need to get out of here? Ha <laughs> ha! Where am I? Oh, I'm here.
Oh, yeah, right here. All right. Um, anyway. I don't think there's any enemies in here. And once I come back out into the I'll look just I don't I know I say I didn't put anything in there. I put everything back home. All right, now I'm done. So this ends I hate this. This ends this uh, honest. <coughs> oh, geez. Why can't I remember it? Honest hearts. And I'm going to end this video here. And when we come back, we'll be back in the Mojave Wastelands. Thanks for watching. See you next time.